Tam here and welcome back to my channel Lifestyling with Tam. In today's video, it's Sunday and we are meal prepping. I'm so excited to share with you guys some of the things that help me meal prep for me and my husband during the week and I hope that maybe it will inspire you to try it yourself and see if it helps you out as well. Remember that if you like this video to give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel so that you never miss a moment with Lifestyling with Tam. Without further ado, let's get into this video and meal prep for the week. I'm gonna do a lean ground beef. I always buy the 93% lean to 7% fat lean ground beef. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna season my cutting board that I'm gonna pad out my hamburger meat on. So there's a little pepper. This is the kosher salt. A little bit of garlic powder. Put this stuff literally in everything. And then some onion powder. Also put this in everything. And that's the seasoning for my hamburger. Now I will put some on top as well. And then actually the way I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook these to keep it easy for me, but I'll actually be cooking my hamburger steaks in my air fryer, so. Okay, so now we're gonna take these over to the air fryer. So I've got my little um, tray or pan or whatever you want to call it for my air fryer. My air fryer's back here. It's just an Ultreen, I think's the name. Ultreen. I got it off of Amazon. I really, really love it. Love the color to it. <coughs> I'm going to put these guys right in here and then slide those into the um, air fryer. Ten minutes on each side at 360 degrees okay so the bacon is done i'm going to get it off and this is turkey bacon low sodium turkey bacon um, instead of you know full-fledged fattening heart attack bacon um, and then we're about to get the green beans on so i told you guys my husband is super picky and this is actually the only green bean that he will eat look i gotta do what i gotta do to get my hubby to eat some sort of vegetable so we're calling this a win so i'm just pouring the rice out of their little baggies into a bowl just um, so they can hang out until i'm ready to start filling up the meal prep containers our hamburger steaks are at 10 minutes now, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip those. All right, so we're just gonna let that side cook up and then they will be done. All right, so I'm gonna share with you guys my mashed potato recipe. Um, I'm gonna be honest, you know, it's not, it's probably not as healthy as it could be. You can enjoy things in moderation. Um, and what I add that makes it a little bit unhealthy is some mayonnaise and whole milk. So, you know, we like flavor. But right now I'm just mashing up these potatoes, getting them ready to add the ingredients. So what I'm gonna do is go in with the water that I took out of the pot before I drained the potatoes. I don't add all of it, just a little bit. I'm also gonna go in with some, you guessed it, garlic powder and onion powder. I literally add that to everything. And I just, I'm at the point where I just add, eyeball these ingredients, so I can't tell you how much. 
All right, I'm gonna go in with a little mayonnaise, and there ain't no other mayonnaise except Duke's. So a good little squirt. I'm gonna go in with some salt, a little bit of milk, and of course you can always use a healthier option of milk. All right, put in some butter, and then we're gonna stir this up. I'm happy with this consistency. Things are a little crazy in here. All right, so I preheated my oven to 375, and what I'm cooking in the oven is the chicken tenderloins that I'm gonna make, and I'm gonna show you. I kind of put together a few um, ingredients that I just um, put the chicken into, literally into the pan with the ingredients, and just let it cook, and they come out so tender, so juicy, and so flavorful. I'm gonna share it with you guys. All right, so my air fryer is beeping at me. It is beeping at me, so my hamburger steaks are finished. Let's check them out. Ooh, look at that, look at that. And in case you don't believe me that they're actually done, let's get one of them bad boys. Yep, completely done. 20 minutes, guys, on 360 degrees, and they're just perfect, so juicy. So now I'm going to do my chicken tenderloins. I start mixing up all of my ingredients. So let me go through those with you first. Um, I love liquid aminos. Um, they are like an alternative to soy sauce. Less sodium for sure. Um, no fats, no carbs, one gram of protein, only five calories. So it's just a better option for you than soy sauce. A little bit of that. I'm just gonna go in with some teriyaki sauce. Also gonna go in with a reduced sodium chicken broth. A Little bit of, you guessed it, onion powder. Garlic powder. Some grilled chicken um, seasoning. And I love, love, love this seasoning by McCormick. Grill Masters Brown Sugar Bourbon Seasoning, OMG. It's really, really good. And then a little pepper and my salt. Okay. And so now I literally just put my chicken tenders in that and just kind of let them hang out just a few minutes. chicken tenders into the oven and let them cook probably approximately 20 minutes or so. All right, let's make those pancakes. All right, so now I love to use Kodiak cakes, power cakes, flapjack and waffle mix in buttermilk flavor. Um, it says you can just add water, but I actually use the option on the back that gives you 21 grams of protein per serving. And that's where you replace the water with one cup of milk, one cup of um, mix, and one egg to make the protein pancakes that I make for my family. thought I was filming me pouring out the pancake batter but I was not so here they are <laughs> I'm gonna top them with a little ground cinnamon So while the pancakes are finishing up, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the scrambled eggs that I'm gonna make. on the chicken and I gotta do my my sides. <laughs> 
I'm gonna go for a lighter option, a more healthy option, and do the broccoli florets in the steamable bag. Now my oven's yelling at me, so let's see if the chicken is done. I set the timer for 20 minutes just to see if they would be finished. I don't know if they're actually finished yet, so let's check. I'm also making me a little bit different option. I'm going to top this onto the white rice for my lunch um, as just something quick and easy and getting my protein from beans rather than meat. This is a more kind of plant-based option, I guess you would say, for me, and that's what I'm gonna do in my bowl. So, so I'm show um, I wanted to share, I found these awesome meal prep containers from Walmart, and they were only like no more than three bucks, I know. And so they were five packs, so that's obviously a week's worth. So I got the hubby two packs of five black ones, and I got me two packs um, of the five pack of the cute coral pink ones, just so that we could, you know, tell whose is whose. They make the job a lot easier when it's time to pack everything up and be done. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by making up my husband's breakfast and just show you kind of how I divvy all that out, okay? Who likes ketchup on their eggs? The hubby does. So I have these cute little plastic containers with lids and they fit perfectly inside of the meal prep containers. So I just fill them up with his ketchup and then I fill up one with syrup for his pancakes. That way he has everything he needs all packed up, ready to go. I do not make my breakfast because I typically just have oatmeal with my daughter um, but this week I tried something different and mixed up a little eggs with um, turkey sausage and a little bit of Colby Jack cheese so just something a little different to switch it up and keep it interesting final stages of the meal prep and anything that's left over will be like a supper option for us just to grab on nights that I don't feel like cooking which is another plus to the meal prep concept because it allows me to have food on hand so that if I don't feel like cooking I don't have to So much as a healthy meal prep although there are some healthier options it's more about just freeing up time through the week and making things easier on us thanks so much guys for being a part of the lifestyling with tam fam and i will see you in the next video bye guys